If the net electric field at point P along y axis is 0, then the ratio of Q2 by Q3 is 8 by phi root x, where x equals to phi. So here what is given, we have a point P which is lying here and it is given that the electric field along the y axis in this direction is 0 means there is no electric field then in that case the ratio is 8 by phi root x we have to find the value of x okay now we know that if we have these two charges here we have this second charge is positive so the electric field will point away from it and the q3 is negative so electric field will point towards the negative charge now here here we can see the angles are different okay so for this field the electric field is pointing in this direction and if we stretch this line we will get angle here theta so let us call the electric field this as e2 produced by the second charge then this component will be e2 cos theta why e2 cos theta because here it is theta so it is e2 cos theta 2 already i have written here okay and similarly the electric field due to this charge number 3 will point towards the charge and here it makes angle let us call this angle as theta 1 then its component in this direction will be e e3 cos theta 1 right because i have called this angle as theta 1 so maybe you have understood right so here i have drawn this so the component of this e2 is e2 cos theta 2 here and here let us call this as electric field number 3 whose component along the y axis is e3 cos theta 1 now for electric field to be 0 for electric field to be 0 this component are equal this component should be equal and opposite these two components are it should be equal and opposite so that is e2 cos theta 2 e2 cos theta 2 is equals to e3 cos theta 1 so e2 now electric field due to a charge is given by kq by r square electric field is given by equation kq by r square so here it is kq and what is r here r is this distance if you solve this you will get it is 4 square plus 2 square so it is 4 square is 16 plus 2 square is 4 16 plus 4 is 20 so this become root 20 and we are squaring it so this becomes only 20 so it is kq2 by 20 and here we have cos theta 2 so for cos theta 2 so cos theta 2 is 4 by root 20 because cos theta is adjacent by hypo so adjacent is 4 and hypo is root 20 so it is 4 by root 20 and here it is kq3 for this this one it is e3 so e3 so this is charge number 3 the electric field at this point is pointing in this direction so e3 is equals to k q3 by r square now this r is 5 you can easily find it because this is 4 and this is 3 so this become 5 so this becomes kq3 by phi square we are not con converting into uh, meters okay because it, uh, this type of questions it is not needed to convert and cos theta 1 cos theta 1 so it is theta 1 so cos theta is adjacent upon hypo so it is 4 by 5 so it is 4 by 5 now just make q2 and q3 as subjects so it is q2 by q3 i'm bringing this here and also k k will get cancelled 4 4 will get cancelled so it is q2 by q3 this 20 and root 20 will go on the other side so it is 20 into root 20 and this is phi square is 25 into 5 now on solving this here on solving this here right so here it is a uh, phi forza so it is and this root 20 can be written as 4 into 5 the root of 4 uh, is 2 so this become 4 to za 8 root 5 and here it is 25 this 25 can be written as 5 into 5 25 can be written as 5 into 5 okay so this again 5 can be written as root 5 into root 5 so 1 root 5 will get cancelled so our answer will be 8 by 5 into 1 by root 5 or 8 by 5 root 5 so if we compare with this one so it is 8 by 5 root x is equals to 8 by 5 root 5 so x becomes 5